Airbus is moving steadily ahead with the succession plan for its popular A320 Neo family, even with strong sales for the existing series. As the 2030s approach and are now closer than the beginning of the decade, sorry for reminding you, plane makers are studying the next era of their commercial aircraft production. Shared through Aviation Week, Airbus is continuing to enter the process of studying this new narrowbody aircraft. And with that, at its very core, what improvements can be implemented to make the jet the game changer that they and their customers require. At the core of the next generation single aisle jet or NGSA is the wing process, a key undertaking for the plane maker to best determine the way forward. Similarly over at Boeing, through the studies of its own next iteration of commercial flight there has been a lot of emphasis placed on the structure of the wings to best drive efficiency, visible through the likes of the TTBW in the past. Currently on a much smaller scale, Airbus is moving ahead with several designs including an extra performance wing or X-wing technology not to be mistaken for the popular Star Wars Starfighter jet. Airbus up next remains one of the key pillars of future studies you may have heard about, with this division focusing on developing technologies to understand what will be feasible moving forward. As part of this undertaking, the engineers are studying how to enhance the wing structure, including wing tips, without seeing too significant a weight increase that would make this unattainable. What is known as a hinged wingtip can alleviate loads induced by turbulence, according to Aviation Week's reporting. Therefore, reinforcement of the aircraft fuselage would not be required. What do we know so far about this new plane that is still some 12 plus years away from entering commercial service based on current timeframes? Well, we know that 2025 has been important in terms of this replacement gaining a lot of traction. In reporting from June, there was really the building blocks for early framework for a release with the CEO of Airbus reaffirming his stance that the successor of the popular single aisle A320 program remained a massive focus for them as a business. While ongoing studies are taking place surrounding the wing, it was also announced at this stage that one of the first processes would be a decision on the engine solution, with confirmation expected by 2027. Following an engine selection, a launch would likely occur at the turn of the decade in 2030, marking a new era for passenger travel as we turn turn over to the 2030s. While that's less than five years away, no schedule can be firmly locked down. This is rather an internal estimate and a hopeful time frame that is going to be reached. But with a focus on but with such a focus on technological advancements and decisions being made to make all of this possible, it can very easily be pushed back given the magnitude of the undertaking. However, with those previous time frames outlined, Airbus is very hopeful that the launch of 2030 would pave the way for around a seven to eight year introduction from that point, so you're looking at an entry into service in the 2037 to 2038 mark. It is true though that Airbus will continue delivering A320 family aircraft well into the 2030s, the new engine option. This does not however mean that the need for a replacement is not present, as early adopters of the Neo model will see their fleets reach 20 years of age, and others will be looking to keep up with the times and bring in more planes for better efficiency. Airbus is in a fortunate position where it has, yes, battled supply chain discomfort, but is more primed now to proceed with a replacement than before. And with that, its success plan into the 2030s is also crucial. Given the widespread adoption of the A320 series is a natural next step. However, a re-engine is certainly not being considered as an option for this endeavor. With the new era of single aisle operations that we will see arrive in the 2030s and more widespread in the 2040s, expected to be clean sheets. Yes, they will build upon what the plane makers have come to know and love about the single aisle family, but they also are aware they need to take that next leap. With clean sheet designs, there comes greater risk and higher costs. But equally for a business like Airbus, the chance to start afresh and create that true game-changing fleet type for decades to come and also fundamentally build the blocks for success for implementation on other larger scale planes will be crucial. This is a new phase after all. That is why all these Airbus up next divisions are working so hard. Keen to hear your take down below in the comments. Thanks for watching. Take care, be safe, and I'll see you tomorrow. And we'll fly.